Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. In this video, I wanted to go over Windows 11 uh, pen and ink settings. Now I'm using a two button stylus. This is invert or the eraser button, and this is barrel. You may have a stylus like this stock one from Microsoft, which has just the barrel button, and this is going to perform like a right click. So we're going to go through these settings in Windows 11. There's a couple different ones, a couple new ones, and I wanted to go through what those things do. So here, the very first one, choose which hand you write with, right and left. Uh, what this is going to do is when you right click on the desktop, you know, these have displayed on the right side. If I go back over here and I turn this to right handed and I click, it's going to put them to the left side. And this is going to just make navigation with a pen. If you're right clicking different places, it's going to offset it so that you're not moving underneath your hand. It's just right where you can reach it easily. Here, pair pen. If you are using a Bluetooth stylus, like the Surface stylus, you can connect your pen there. And then you have options for single, double, press and hold. Uh, this is the standard default as in Windows 10. However, there is an additional option called pen menu. So here we have all these normal ones, pen menu. That's going to do the same thing as clicking on this little pen icon down here. Now, when I do that, I'm going to have a couple extra options. Okay, so I have uh, the sniping tool or snip and sketch. And then I have a couple apps that I added that I like to use. I have the Bibleverse Expander app, the Microsoft Journal app, which is pretty cool, uh, Rebel 4, which I like a whole bunch. And then there's this option here to edit pen menu. Pen settings is going to open up the same settings panel that we have right here. So pen menu, you can see what I have pinned already. It has suggested apps, ones that typically use a stylus. And then you have all apps when you can just add one up here to the top. Pretty simple, pretty standard really. This question mark, will let you learn more about the pen, which is in this menu over here as well. Okay, single, double, and press and hold. That is this guy up here, the Bluetooth button on the stylus, although this is not a Bluetooth one. Additional pen settings. All right, so here, allow apps to override the shortcut button behavior. That means some programs will take priority if you check that box. So there might be a program like PowerPoint that allows you to click the Bluetooth button and switch or advance a slide. This checkbox right here allows that behavior. All right, when available, show pen menu after I remove my pen from storage. So if you have a Surface Pro X or uh, some of the other computers that have a docked bay for the stylus that can tell that the stylus has come out, what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to take the pen out and then it's immediately going to pop up this little menu. All right, let's close this and then right here, additional pen settings. Here we have a couple new things. All right, so visual effects is going to show these little tiny, looks like little water drops. Loop, 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 loop. That is visual effects. Let's turn that off. Now notice that when I'm moving stuff around on the screen. I actually don't see where the pen is. Like I can see where the pen is, but I can't see a little dot on the screen. Show cursor is that little dot. You can see it floating around right here. Hello, little dot. Show cursor. Let's move that up a little bit. Let me use my pen as a mouse when it's available. And this is a very elusive feature, which almost impossible to test. I have not found a good way to test it, but what it's supposed to do so if you are in a web browser like this one, if I take my pen, I put it on the screen, it allows me to pan and scroll. So if I were zoomed in a little more, you can see that I can pan the screen. Now, if we go over here and we turn this on in some applications, this does not seem to behave like this in Chrome. If we turn this on, then we go back over here, it would have a more mouse-like behavior as opposed to panning and scrolling. Let's turn that off, ignore touch input. So here you can see I've got a touch little circle where my finger is touching the screen. I'll show you two and three, and you can do all the way up to 10 at the same time. Now, if my thumb, if I'm touching 
the screen and then I try and use the pen at the same time, nothing is going to happen. If I take my finger up, then let me go ahead and right click. Sorry, so you can see right here. My thumb is down, I try and right click and it won't do anything. If I take my thumb up and I right click, you'll see that the action is not blocked, it's not ignored. Let's turn that off. Display additional keys pressed when using my pen. We're going to hop into Rebel and we'll turn on the artist path for this because I like it. So here, I'm drawing on the screen. Now if I press Alt, you can see that little Alt key is being, or that little Alt tooltip is being displayed underneath the pointer. You can see Shift does the same thing and so does Control. So these will just show you that you're pressing a modifier. So if you're having, if you're having some pen lag, then that's a good one to test turning off. Uh, use your handwriting to enter text. You can choose the font here and font size. And you can choose whether this only happens when you have a keyboard attached. I'm using a Bluetooth keyboard, woohoo, which is um, definitely my choice for a lot of different things, but it has a couple of drawbacks. And you can see my video on the topic. Um, otherwise, it's, 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 for me, it's well worth it because I have my tablet held by a tablet holder and I sit in bed when I make most of these videos and when I do most of my work. And so having that elevated screen and Bluetooth keyboard that magnetically attaches and protects the screen is, is just worth it. And it's like 50 bucks versus 120 or 130. And right with your fingertips. So let's go ahead and demonstrate this. So we're gonna go here, we're going to tap here in this field. Now you're gonna notice that my touch keyboard has come up and it's a little larger not because I'm old and can't see, but because I learned recently, you can change the theme and resize right here. And you have more settings. Anyway, handwriting is an option and it will give you the option of uh, writing in up here what you want. Well, let's go ahead and delete all of that. Uh, this will give you some more additional settings, like if you need space, delete or numbers, which is pretty cool. I didn't really know that that was in there. So then you can just, and write. I would love to make a better version of what's going on here because um, in Windows 11 and Windows 10, there's a couple new options that they are working on integrating, which is allowing you to just put the pen tip. Let me go ahead and turn on show cursor. So make this video a little easier to understand. So right up here, like you can just actually write directly in that field and, and it will just enter into that field converted from handwriting into text, which is what I think should happen. I, I really like that concept, but there's some hurdles in the way, but that would be cool. Okay. So font size, we get font, we get, um, when the physical keyboard isn't attached, you can choose never, so it doesn't ever do that. Write with your fingertips, that's self-explanatory. Use your finger in that handwriting panel. Okay, find your pen. If you have a Bluetooth pen, this will keep track of the last location, the last location that your pen was connected to the device. This is a cool addition. Uh, I, I like this, I think it's smart. You can turn it on or off if you're worried about the CIA spying on you and or just your privacy. Uh, tips about the pen. This will bring you to a website and it'll show you. Actually, it doesn't bring you to a website. It brings you to a pop up and it tells you that you can do a handful of different things like changing what the button does up here. It talks about that and handwriting panels and stuff like that. Pretty basic stuff, but it's worth looking at. You can see right here, we'll zip through it. Pin apps to your pen, I showed you that. Here you can take a screenshot with a snipe, a snip and sketch tool. Uh, this is for your side buttons. I'm sorry, for your Bluetooth button. Um, this is, no, that's your side buttons. What is this one? Choose the hand you write with, okay. Write to enter text, yes, we get all of that. And that is that little menu. 
All right, so that is the basics of what you can do with the pen and Windows ink menu. There is another one though. It's control panel. Okay, so type control panel. And then here we're gonna open up control panel. Okay, there we go. And there are additional settings in hardware and sound, pen and touch that you can adjust in Windows 11. Here you can do your single tap works as a single click, like a mouse. Double tap works as a double click, like a mouse. Press and hold does a right click. Now for some of us, we don't want that. So you would click, highlight it here, enable press and hold for right clicking. This is kind of a pain in the butt if you're an artist and you're trying to do some detailed work where the, the pointer is, is barely moving, the pen tip is barely moving and you're drawing, you're adding pressure, you're not adding distance. And that can trigger a right click menu in the drawing program, pain in the butt. This is where you turn that off. If you're getting the wrong behavior, like using uh, right click. So uh, the pen tool from Tablet Pro, which is one of my programs, allows you to change what these side buttons do. So if you put Alt right here, and then you press and hold this button down, the right click equivalent button, barrel button is the actual name and then you drag inside of Photoshop, instead of color picking, you're going to do a resize with the brush and that's right click, alt and drag versus left click, alt and drag. So this here is where theoretically in some programs you disable that. Photoshop still does it even when you turn that off. Use the top of the pen to erase ink. That would be this guy right here. You turn it around and you can scrub out like an eraser, like a rubber eraser on the screen. Now, I find that whether that's turned on or off, it still does the same thing. And uh, in certain versions of Windows 10, you also needed to disable press and hold for touch in order to get it to stop working with the pen. I don't know, but just how it works, it's complex. Show visual settings when touching the screen. That is the circles that I'm getting and optimize visual feedback for projection. That is, that's the extra ring that you get around it. So this one, you see just that little guy. All right, I did something there. Let's go back here. So when I tap the screen, you can see that extra white circle around the dark circle. That's that other setting there. All right, so that's everything in the default settings. If you're looking for more advanced settings for the pen, then the pen tool is where you need to go. There's not any other alternatives here. And I've been working hard to make this, I've been working hard to make this as useful of a tool as possible. You can do all sorts of different things. Watch the video I have on this. Uh, the quick short version is you can program modifiers and screen grabs and activate Cortana. Uh, hover right click if you're doing 3D navigation in ZBrush or Maya. This is a tool that you absolutely need. And I recommend buying a stylus either for me or from the link I have to Amazon that has two buttons because you need both of those buttons if you're doing 3D. So this one here, let me use my pen as a mouse when it's available. In the pen tool, there's actually a real setting for this. So here you can see I can move the cursor around the screen using my pen as an actual mouse with hover tool tips and all the same mouse properties you used to, you can right click and it will open up at the pointer location. And this is really cool. I'm a big fan of this and I recommend having the settings turned off like visualizations and uh, the pointer or mouse cursor. Let's see. Yeah, show cursor, show visual effects. So for me, when I'm using this, I, I turn all of these off. Uh, you can turn this one on or off if you want. Ta-da! All right, that's it. If you guys are interested in more tips and tricks for the stylus inside of Windows 11 or Windows 10, then check out my video on the pen tool. I'll go into a lot more details on what that can do and it's almost everything. And we're working on increasing that to past everything. All right, have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay creative.